How does it feel to be back in the ring via WWE 12? Well, I think it's a, it's going to be good. I think, uh, I think the game is going to be a real good game. And I think that uh, having me in the game is going to be make a huge impact and uh, definitely uh, stir things up for, for the other opponents uh, in the video game, for sure. You had an unparalleled rise to the top of WWE during your run. The list of casualties along the way included legends and Hall of Famers. Hulk Hogan, The Rock, Kurt Angle, The Undertaker. Did you have a favorite opponent during that run or a single moment that stands out in your mind? Probably the single most moment that stands out in my mind. Yeah, I went through a lot of guys. I went through Ric Flair, I went through Hulk Hogan, I went through Undertaker. But there's a guy that I didn't get to go through. There's a Hall of Famer, there's a legend that I didn't get to go through. And there's a guy that felt threatened by me at the time, and there was a guy that, that uh, felt that I had everything given to me. And that guy's Stone Cold Steve Austin. If that's the match that, that I wanted to have and, and I look back and felt robbed by, that's, that's the one that I would want. That's the one that sticks out the most in my mind. All these other matches, yeah, they were great. I was on top of the world and I was beating the Hall of Fame legends. I was the first legend killer. Bigger, badder, better is the tagline for this video game, WWE 12. How does that relate to Brock Lesnar, especially now that you've overcome diverticulitis? Is the world ready to see a bigger, badder, and better Brock Lesnar? I don't think so. I, you know. For two years, I had to lie to myself and lie to, to all of my fans. I had to get up every morning and say, you feel good today, and I didn't. I had the surgery, it's out of my life, and I'm back. And that's a damn good feeling for me, and it's bad for everybody else. Any words for your challengers in WWE 12? I don't think there's a guy on the video game there's not a guy in that locker room in the WWE, and there wasn't a guy in the locker room while I was there that stood a chance against Brock Lesnar. And I, they all know it. And I think on the video game, I'll be the baddest legend that there ever was and there ever will be, period. Outside of the spotlight, you are a very private man. How is that like balancing the spotlight with your private life? I don't pay attention, honestly. I don't have to. Um, I go out, I go through my day. I don't consider myself uh, a celebrity. I consider myself just uh, a guy that has a family that just so happens uh, he's done a lot of tremendous things in his life, but I think the best is always saved for last, and that's yet to come. You've got a big fight coming up in December. How are you approaching this fight? I'm approaching this fight hungrier than I've ever been. Well, the things that I accomplished with the sickness that I had um, is very remarkable. And nobody will know that except for me and the people that I surrounded myself by uh, that saw me do the things that I did under the circumstances that I was given. And I think now uh, that I'm a healthy Brock Lesnar again, it's bad for, for a lot of people. Have you changed the way you're training coming out of your surgery? I have changed my training. I'm able to do more things now. I'm able to, I'm a healthier person. I don't have to eat, um, I don't have to eat like a, I don't know what to even say. I don't have to eat like a rabbit or a, or a anorexic or, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to, I can just be myself again. And, and although I, I've, I've taken a lot of things away from the diet that I was on and that I can, can contribute to my lifestyle now, uh, because I think it, I, I was in the right direction, but a healthy Brock Lesnar, a Brock Lesnar that's eating right now and able to train like I used to, it feels, it's, it's out of this world to me. Any words for Alistair Overeem? 
I don't have a lot to say to Alistair over him. Um, here's a guy that is getting uh, his chance to make his name in the UFC. And unfortunately for him, there's a gatekeeper that stands in his way, and that's Brock Lesnar. And I will prove on that night that I am, once again, and will always be, the baddest dude on the planet. You are the only man to ever hold the top titles in NCAA Division I Collegiate Wrestling, WWE, and UFC. Are there any other aspirations for Brock Lesnar? Yeah, I will be, once again, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Do you think we'll ever see Brock Lesnar pull off an F5 anytime soon? I think you can uh, purchase the game and do it all you want. He was the youngest undisputed WWE Champion in history. He defeated a global box office sensation to win that title. Now, after an extended absence, He's back, and this time, the gloves are off. He's bigger, badder, and better than ever before. Here comes the pain. Only in WWE 12.